Hi, this is Mike Carter with Carter Custom Knives. Uh, today I'm just going to show you how I sharpen my blades. And I do this with a slack belt that I'll demonstrate in a moment. Uh, here's what I'm going to be sharpening. This is what I call my Kodiak Bowie. Uh, very large knife. And I final ground it. I've got the edge down to about the thickness I want. I want to keep a pretty stout edge on this because obviously it's a big knife. Uh, you know, it could be used for chopping, so you don't want to really take it too thin. This one, I've got the edge down to about 0 0.5 or 0 0.059 or about a six hundredth of an inch. You know, if it was a small blade, a little hunter or something, I'd take it a little thinner before I grind my final, my secondary bevel on here. And, you know, that's one of the, one thing about sharpening a knife. I mean, any edge is going to come down to a zero edge. You're going to grind it to a point, to an edge. You know, the thinner the blade, the sharper you can get it, the finer edge you can get on it. I mean, think about it, a razor blade, you know, super sharp, super thin, super brittle. Uh, whereas an axe has got a very large convex edge, uh, but it's made for heavy-duty chopping. So, just like almost everything else in knives, uh, it's kind of a trade-off. If you want that scary sharp edge, you're going to have to take it down really thin. Then, yeah, you can really uh, hone a super keen edge on it. But it's going to be a fragile edge, and it's not going to last as long as what I would call a working edge. And it all depends on how sharp that angle is. If you got a thick blade, you're coming in at a pretty steep bevel, something like that. Or if you got a thin blade, you're bringing that bevel way down. And uh, and that's also another reason I like to do a hollow grind. Because we're going from this quarter inch thick spine and we're curving it down to that thin edge. But the advantage of a hollow grind, in my opinion, versus a convex grind or some of the others, is you have to go pretty far up the blade before you start getting into thicker steel. So in other words, you can sharpen this many, many times. I don't know if you've ever seen an old knife. It's been sharpened hundreds of times, and sometimes they actually got a, a, a sway cut out of them. But, you know, anytime you sharpen, you're removing a little bit of metal, and this will allow you to go sharpen more times before you start getting into thicker metal, which will change your edge geometry, and it'll change the angle of that bevel. So anyway, I just want to show you how I do it. Uh, you know, there's a million ways to sharpen knives, and pretty much all of them work. Um, this is one of the ways I was taught, and uh, works for me, so this is how I do it. Now what I'm going to be doing, this is on my Bader 3 grinder. Instead of working up here on the wheel, I'm going to be working on this slack part of the belt. And the reason I do that is that belt's going to give just a little bit that gives me a slightly convex edge instead of just a straight bevel. And I'll try and hold this blade at about a 25, 27 degree angle. You know, the further you lay it down, the little finer edge you can get on it. But again, uh, especially on a knife this size, I don't want to take a super fine edge. I don't want a tall, thin secondary bevel. Yeah. 
especially uh, I'm looking for any thick shots and thin spots. I might want to slow down and take a little more time on the thick spots. I've got this one evened out pretty well. still see some flat spots. You know, I know I'm not down to a zero edge. I'm getting close, and I'm also feeling for it until we're not sharp yet. And when we start getting down to it, I'll be looking for this edge to start rolling over. And you'll actually see a little wire edge here. see that edge roll over, getting a little burr right here on this, you can see it there. Yeah, I'm getting a little burr, that's that little wire edge I'm looking for. So I know this area is down to a zero edge. So I want to kind of stay off of that now and uh, work a little more down here and get that to the same place. looking for that wire edge, a little burr to come up all the way across the blade. You start to see it pretty much all the way down the blade there. I'm just working it back and forth. I raise it on one side. When I come back on the other side, it breaks it off and raises the burr on the other side. That's when I know I've got that zero wire edge.
my uh, 220 grit edge. Uh, that's pretty sharp actually. I could uh, I could strop that and uh, it'd be a pretty usable edge. But uh, we're going to take it a little finer. Okay, now that we've got the uh, 220 grit edge on it, uh, I've switched to a 500 grit belt, and we'll go back and just smooth that out a little bit. See how we're uh, cleaning up that edge. Well, there still is that little bit of a wire edge on it, of course. But you can see it's a, it's a much smoother grind there. Pretty fine edge here. And finally, I'm going to dress this down, or, or not finally, but as far as uh, grits go, I'm going to do an 800 grit. Couple passes with that. finished yet. And finally, I'm going to strop this with a leather belt. It's got a little bit of uh, green buffing compound on it. And this is just same as uh, stropping with any leather strop.
So, we've got her uh, sharpened and uh, dropped. And I always like to uh, just test with a good, stiff, heavy piece of paper. And I know it's not hard to cut paper, but this tells me two things. I can tell how much pressure I'm using and how it's just gliding through the paper. And also it'll tell me if there's a burr somewhere along this edge. I'll feel it hang on that paper when I cut it. Actually, I'm feeling a little burr right there on that uh, on this round part. So I'm gonna buff it just a little bit more, strop it just a little bit more on that uh, on that round there. So, that's how I sharpen my knives. Mike Carter, Carter Custom Knives. Hope you enjoyed the video. Thanks for watching.